nice to meet you, Matt. <laughs> Thanks for bringing it out. <laughs> There's your intro. <laughs> what are we looking at? What have you brought? What have we got? Mustang 289 Coupe. Wait, so you brought this from, you got it flown over? Yeah, it's come over from Texas. I bought it from, um, there was a guy based in Surrey, yeah. but he's from Georgia originally. So yeah, he, he got it over here. Um, Jan 21. Mm -hmm. And that's where the work started. Yeah, it's nice. It's really nice. And you, it wasn't this, uh, standard when you got it was it you show me some pictures i'll frame up on screen no, now yeah yeah the you um, some right work to it yeah come with one seat basically um <laughs> yeah. rust wise it was fine yeah um floor pans they were they were they were fine a couple of holes um but obviously after that to get it to this position in the uk yeah. with the rain and the weather yeah um new floor pans other than that full respray bare metal respray yeah um converted from a two barrel to a four barrel carb mm -hmm. with intake, um, Edelbrock carburetor. Yeah. Um, the new exhaust system, new... Um, yeah, it sounds nice on the road. It sounds really nice. Yeah, new exhaust system. Um, that's got Flowmaster exhaust, yeah. um, Super 40s on it. Long tube headers. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of some more bits. Um, <laughs> long list. <laughs> yeah, quite a long list to be honest. Um, but yes, everything's on it has been done. Yeah. Um, what so do it's the original block in there. Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah, it's so clean. Just dressed up. So intake, uh, Edelbrock intake. Oh yeah. Edelbrock carburetor, gone from two barrel to four barrel. Yeah. Bogus on power steering because I'm not lugging this around the country. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like yeah like, especially with the weight uh, of it. JBA uh, long tube headers. Yeah. And yeah, other than that, it's fairly standard. Yeah. Um, 289, so yeah. obviously, you know, it, it's pro on dyno, probably push 200, originally the 225. Yeah. Um, so it's nothing major. Um, and with the weight of it, I guess, that yeah, kind of like weighs it down anyway. Just your average daily smoker, probably running six to the gallon. But at least you drive it though, like. Yeah. Because this is such, like, you'd think this is a show car, like, looking at this, it's just, it's it a joke its, how clean it is. No, it has, it has its flaws here and there. It's such a nice, such a nice colour as well, I love the colour. So for the Mustang fans out there, it, colour code V. Yeah. Oh yeah. Which is burnt amber. And the leather as well, like the seats and stuff. Again, just... a saddle, so that comes with the same <clears throat> trim. So, so nice. It's weird as well sitting in it because it's like I'm used to sitting in a car that's got like a a backrest. Yeah. So like there's like <laughs> nothing there. Yeah, there's nothing here. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like your head snapping back. It's so funny. So sick. I love it. For anyone that is going to be doing up Mustangs and restoring them, I must say wheels is a game changer. You need to get the right wheels. Yeah, so what are these are not? These, these are, are now. Um, I went through so many different stages, tire sizes, backspacing. Yeah. Um, these aren't original to the car. This would have come with torque thrust on. Yeah. Um, but Magnum 500s, uh -huh. in my eyes, they fill the arch perfectly. Yeah, it is really nice. Fitment. And sometimes they sit too high. Yeah, because that's the worst, isn't it? When, got so that when big you look gap. from back, you see the stance on the back. Yeah. The wheels are a lot wider than the front. Yeah. Well, it suits it, doesn't it? Because you yeah. want the thicker tyres at the back anyway, yeah. aren't they? And that is, and this was the last model they did the... 67 and 68. See, I did my research yeah, before. See, <laughs> yeah, 67, 68. Last time, because it's such a cool design. I don't know why they yeah, got rid of that. Especially no. on the new Mustangs. I like, know. That is such an iconic yeah, I don't know part why. to it. Like that is so, that's why I love older cars, because there's so much more character to them. So much more. Whereas like the newer, obviously they're, they're nice, but they all look the same. Definitely. Like all the new, Mus all the new Mustangs from like 2019 onwards, they all look the same. All the same, I know. The, they, the, new, the new bullet. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm not a new, new car fan, um, but they've still got a kind of lights like this, mm. but nothing, nothing like the 67. Especially at night as well, like with those tail, like the three strips, that just looks Iconic. Sick. Absolutely I'm not sick. sure if you'll see them when they're lit up now. Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah, that's not, I like how it, when you indicate as well that all three indicate. Like yeah, you can have them. Because you'd expect just like the one on the side. Yeah, you can have them sequential so they go across. Yeah. Oh, that one actually pretty, yeah. pretty cool to be fair. And then the front lights you were saying are different because I saw them when you pulled up with the halo lights. Yeah. They're so sick. I think the, I think the center lights on though, the, the halos and, oh, there you go. Yeah, that just looks, 
because it's like a hint of modern. And this is what I like about on, it. On a, a lot car. of people said to me, yeah, I bet there's like, don't do it. Yeah, don't it's do not, it, don't do it. You're not a purist. It's not your car. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm driving and it, I'm night, paying for it. <laughs> that looks, it looks good. It really does. It makes it, it look so much fresher. And you were saying, because obviously the indicators are on that headlight, because the actual ones are down here, you can't yeah. even fucking see them. So when someone pulls out now, obviously. Yeah, you can see that, whereas before, you, could, you have to look right down to be able to see that. And if you look on the bonnet, I'm not sure why in 67, on the right indicator, come yeah. around here, look. They actually had the indicator on the bonnet. <laughs> oh yeah, so you can actually see what you're doing. <laughs> Which I don't know why. That's so funny. It's a sprint bonnet, I'm told, so that's what, yeah, strange. Yeah, that is. Have you ever had any, like, has it kept you much problems reliability-wise since you... No, since I've done luck? it up fully now, I had a lot of trouble with the um, fuel lines. Yeah. I, I tried to, I kept the original fuel lines, blasted them all out, cleaned them all, yeah. new carburetor, everything on there. And then every now and again, I'd get a blurt, and yeah. then it would stall and stop. So I had to put all new fuel lines on it again, clean all the jets, carburetor back on it again. Yeah. Touch wood, nothing. Being drive to Goodwood, all the way around the track, come yeah, back drive again. The track. That's so um, sick. I'm gonna. We're gonna take it everywhere to be honest. We're gonna go up through uh, France. Yeah. Um, loads of places. Do you get much body roll when you're on the track? <laughs> quite a lot. Quite a lot. <laughs> you're on quite two wheels. <laughs> yeah. Quite a lot. Um, I've got some shots actually, I'll send them, you can, yeah, you yeah, can never put, know. I'll put um, a load of stuff on the screen. On the chicane as you come down the main <laughs> straight there, we, I was the one that was facing the wrong way out. <laughs> <laughs> you got any plans to take it to uh, back over to America? I would Do love a little to. little road trip over there, I would love so to. good. Um, I was looking it. into it in a minute, I've got a couple of guys over there, um, HP Mustangs, which yeah. are quite good, Georgia way. Um, getting out over there in a container and driving yeah. around there which would be That'd brilliant, be but it's logistics of getting it over yeah. there and trusting it on... On a container, <laughs> yeah, literally. But yeah, no, it's definitely, my plan is to hopefully, with Matt's garage coat, it will, yeah. it will move forward, yeah. and I can, I'll can. i be importing a lot of cars over. Yeah, definitely. And then so we'll be cool. doing a lot more of this. Yeah, literally, we'll get a lot more cars on the channel <laughs> through Matt, he's got a big garage. <laughs> <laughs> but I reckon that the next thing to do is to uh, take this thing out and see what it's like on the road. Yeah. Let's do it. That's a new rubber oh. in that as well. That's stiff, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but it's good because it's like yeah. just part of it, isn't it? <laughs> Getting them windows down. <laughs> Hope the microphones like pick up the noise of it. Hopefully. Because it is such a nice noise. It's plenty of horsepower. Is it what, a 200? It's about well, 225 out of the showroom, they would have been. Yeah. And this has been put back. So I'm, I'd, li I'd like to get it on a dyno and see what it is. Yeah, see what it, see what it puts down. Some of them tend to lose it, don't they? After yeah. a while, the engines get a bit tired. But you've done a few things to it, so. I reckon right towards my little chain there. <laughs> it breaks loose for how thick those tyres are. <laughs> It's more torque yeah, than, than anything. Yeah, than yeah, yeah, actual yeah. power. But that's what's more fun because you can play with the torque yeah. out, the, out the corners. Yeah. It's not all about just a straight line on the A14. No. Because the suspension is still quite soft, it's like it's doable down that, these yeah. back roads. It's not like you're not bumping all over the place. I feel like I'm in America. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from the heat. <laughs> we fill up the road, we're it like... Yeah. <laughs> For a 1967? Yeah. She ain't bad. And it's weird being on that side of the road. I quite like it, because I'm tucked away. You're yeah. the one who's in trouble on that yeah. side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got a little tweak in there, haven't we? A little squeak, huh? Yeah, but that's <laughs> part of it, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, handling-wise, it's not bad. It's got a little bit of roll, but I'm gonna... <laughs> so what is it with the gear stick? 
you're going from so you've got it's crew so you've got one two and yeah. then you've got drive which goes back into the uh, three basically so you've got control for the first two and then yeah so you can go into second if you drop down yeah when you're coming into a corner you're messing about you can drop down to second to give you a bit more grunt yeah is that what you use for the burnouts you're in control yeah yeah yeah, yeah. turn and circle can you get got it? it he's got it Bit of rub, but yeah. Oh mate, mine's doing that. The underfloor on my MX-5 is hanging off. It's about to, oh, it's a pain, it's about it? to get flown under the car at some point. I need to get it up. I love the shake. Just the it's just there, a little like, wobble, isn't it? Just to remind you how much power's <laughs> under the hood. <laughs> then that's just straight drive. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good gearbox for like the age of it. It's really yeah. like just straight through the gears. You wouldn't even think it's. And that's the original box as well, that. Eh? Yeah, that's, it's been well maintained. What? How was the uh, the history of the maintenance and stuff? So it's, yeah, you, I've got a little bit with it, but basically, I'm I'm the third owner. Yeah. I know that as far as I do know. You know I mean, yeah. it could be more, but what it looks like, there's three. Yeah. It was Lufkin, Texas. It was shipped there from San Jose. Yeah. He, the guy bought it there um, in 60, June 67. He kept it and then he sold it and it went to Cordova district in California. Yeah. And then I had it from there. It sat for a long time. Yeah. 1987 is the last parking permit it had yeah. in Cordova, California. So it was sat from then until 2021. Jesus. As I say, they're not the fastest. But so the still, whole experience though of everything. Yeah, still with a couple hundred brake and just no technology and rear wheels, you hit a bit of water and, yeah, and your full throttle is it starts sliding. And you've got no traction to help you out. No airbag, you could die like a real man. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> yeah, if you're going, you're going. <laughs> At least you'd be in style. Because yeah. <laughs> here on the dash pad that is solid but underneath that is just metal oh really it's just like a guillotine it's like <laughs> just basically <throat> <laughs> yeah that is solid chill out there and then we'll just park it up on that little bit and get some photos and that'll be the end That was mental. <laughs> I've never been like a crazy fanboy of muscle cars. I am now a fanboy of muscle cars. I absolutely love them. I couldn't think of anything better. That is fucking mental. No traction control, swinging it around corners, the noise of it, the feeling of it. 
it's just that is just nuts that's so sick we've got some really cool photos um, which are also edited with my lightroom presets so they'll be in the first link in the description you can get those looks on your photos with one click along with all of matt's details as well so he's got a youtube channel he's got an instagram and stuff so if you want to follow him and keep up to date with the mustang and all these other cars then make sure you hit him up down there also leave a subscribe if you want I'm trying to build this channel up car slash photography sort of content so if you did like this episode and you want to see the next episode make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it uh, we're nearly at a thousand we'll try to get there by the end of the year and that'll be that i'll stop plugging shit i'll uh, i'll leave you to it check out my other videos if you want and i will see you in episode three maybe with you if you want to message me and be in it <laughs> but yeah i'll see you in a bit <laughs>